Cancer, hi. All right, let's get into your reading. Peek at your person. Starting off with overall energy. We have heartache and loss, solitude, the waiting game, transformation, and material harvest. Um, so I feel like Cancer, something maybe didn't work out. You could have gotten your heart broken, and now you're kind of sitting in solitude or spending time alone, maybe doing some healing work or meditation. You could be waiting or just hoping time moves a little bit faster so that way you can be on the mend. You are looking for a transformation or some kind of change here um, or growth because you are looking for that stability, that, that solid grounding for something. And I feel like maybe you thought something was going to provide that and it didn't and now you're just kind of tuning in, turning in or just want to be left alone right now so that way you can heal um, but this could also be your person. So let's get into it. Uh, cancer, your person's current energy, current situation. Um, keep in mind, it is a general reading. So when I say your person's energy, it could actually be yours. So feel free to flip flop and reverse the energy. Same to you, cross watcher. All right. So let's see what's going on with your person. Page of cups, page of wands in reverse. So some, some kind of emotion going on. This person could be out of ideas or creativity. All they have to offer is like a little bit of emotion or they could have been a little immature. There could have been an age difference. Wanting stability. We have a lot of pages coming through. Page of cups, page of wands, page of swords. They could be watching you on social media or trying to observe texting you, trying to communicate with you. Strength, confidence, courage, and the chariot. I mean, I could see it as maybe you hurt this person, but um, I could take that back as well. <laughs> uh, so we have Knight of Swords. Queen of Wands, so Aries, Leo, Sag, Gemini, and then we have Abandoned, Left Out in the Cold, Left Hanging. You could have been dealing with an air sign or a fire sign, and now they're feeling abandoned, left hanging, left out in the cold. Or this person was chasing after maybe somebody else, and then you left them, and now they're feeling abandoned. So let's see, what got in the way, what's blocking this connection? What got in the way? What's blocking this connection? Cancer and their person. The moon. Unknown energy. Abandonment issues. Somebody felt abandoned, left out in the cold. Somebody may not have been fighting for this. The wounded warrior. Walls up, guards up, blocked off. somebody could have walked away or chose somebody else fell for temptation I have the lovers which could be a choice in love the devil temptation toxicity ten of cups thought there thought there would be happiness somewhere else I feel like they chose wrong or made a bad decision I feel like this person was kind of immature maybe not ready for what you were looking for you, you weren't on the same page. You weren't able to build together. Something was being blocked with that. Okay, here you are. Creating a blockage. And then we have Aquarius energy. Cold, cut off, not stressing. I mean, you could be creating the blockage here because you chose to walk away. You know, um... Things may have just been too choppy. This person, actions may not be matching their words. They could have been in and out, wishy-washy energy. You weren't on the same page. I feel like the two of you wanted different things or, or were expecting different things from this connection. So it wasn't in alignment. It wasn't balanced. Um, I'm not necessarily seeing third party, but I, I can't take it off the table. It's lightly presenting itself, but I don't really want to focus solely on that. I want to 
kind of feel more about what's really going on here. I feel like there was either codependency, toxicity, temptation, drinking. Somebody could have put drinking ahead of a connection. Let's see. How does this person feel? Like they, they could have childhood trauma. It seems like maybe they have abandonment issues. So when that happens, people usually try to push people away because they don't want to get hurt or they don't want to feel abandoned, but they create that abandonment by pushing people away. Um, you know, so I mean, it can go, it can go really deep. It's like, I got to leave them before they leave me because everybody leaves me type of mentality, you know, which could be why solitude is here. That could be your person's energy. All right. How do they feel about you? They feel like you're very intuitive or maybe you're hiding secrets. They're definitely attracted to you. They feel like there's chemistry, but they're now feeling ignored by you. They don't feel like you're a player, so they're not seeing you as like running around hooking up with other people and you're ignoring them. But for some reason, they're feeling ignored or rejected. All right, we have King of Wands, Leo energy. So they feel like you have the control right now over this connection. Communication. Uh, something wasn't fair. Maybe they feel like it wasn't fair that you ended this with them. Strength, confidence, courage. Uh, maybe an apology, Knight of Cups or a love offer. They could be finding, trying to find strength to apologize to you. I just feel like maybe this person was was trying to push you away because of their traumas. And they made that they feel like maybe they made a logical decision or a head over heart decision, but it really it was an emotional decision or a trauma decision. They could feel maybe you did that too. Maybe you had to make some kind of head over heart decision. Maybe they were playing with your emotions. I feel like they're, they want to apologize. And I know everybody else at me, you know, they always want to return. They always want to apologize. They haven't yet. They could be thinking about it. They could be wanting to, but again, they're trying to come up with the courage to, to actually do it. So whether they do or not, that, that could depend. So, all right, let's see. So what was the point of this connection? Decisions. Somebody had a choice and this was chosen over the other choice. It could have been to teach you about making better decisions. I don't know. Something about decisions, burdens, choosing to put burdens down, overcoming obstacles. What was the point of this connection? The past, something from childhood. I feel like the it could have been more towards your person to maybe learn to to have faith and and have trust in people that it doesn't always end in abandonment. But if you continue to keep getting triggered and, and having those traumas come to the surface all the time and connections, then it's going to end up in abandonment. And then you're going to keep proving your theory to be correct when it's you that's causing it. And I'm not saying you, I'm saying whoever this person is, you know. All right. Enough with the TED Talk. All right, so... It could be a, a matter of learning to also set boundaries, stand up for yourself, where to put in work and effort, and how to move that wheel forward in your favor, where it actually is moving forward and you're not just spinning your tires in the mud type of thing and staying stuck. So... I also feel like there's a level of reconciling with yourself. Um, so having like self-forgiveness, taking the lesson at face value, understanding that was meant to happen, it was supposed to happen, and, and kind of just moving on from there and helping with your healing journey. So let's see, what's going to happen here? Outcome, some kind of truth, clarity, honesty, victory, and success. 
after probably a lot of confusion going on here. Yeah, clarity comes in. I have scorpionic energy and then that wheel of fortune. Emperor. The world. So somebody is kind of bossing up, taking action, taking control to either close out this cycle, move into calmer waters. Somebody's not going to like that um, communication coming in. I feel like it's you, though. I feel like you're going to actually close a cycle out. You've learned your lesson. You're going to move on. It's not easy. I don't feel like it, you wanted it that way. But I feel like that's that's what you're going to do. Even if you do get an apology from this person, I feel like you're just, you're moving on to the path of least resistance, right? So what happens here? See, this person, they're not, they're not going to change. <laughs> they're not going to change. They're going to continue to put other things first. I feel like there's something coming through. Maybe with like drinking, partying, socializing, something like that. They're just, they're, you're not in alignment. You're walking away. Your intuition is probably screaming at you to do so. And I feel like that's, you know, what's best. Because you are looking for stability and a stable new beginning. So is that going to come in for you? What's next for cancer after this? There you are, putting the burdens down. What's next for cancer after this? You, okay, so you are kind of sitting in solitude. You're hurt, you're disappointed. You're a little bit blocked off right now. So you're gonna do some healing work. Ooh. And once that happens, you could have a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sag coming towards you that is a soulmate that will give you long-term commitment, loyalty, what you're looking for. So take that time to heal and release. You don't want to bring that baggage over into a new connection. All right, what messages do we have? But you have something good coming towards you down the road. So look, single. Yeah, just be single for now. Alone, isolated, lonely, guarded, uh, finances, money problems, work, material things, success. You could be focusing on work, family, uh, generations, children, ancestors, origin, faded meaning, meeting. That's when this other person's going to come along. So when you're focusing on yourself and you're busy working, focusing on family, finances, and all that, that's when the universe is going to be like, all right, you're ready for me to send this other person in. All right, so patience. Just focus on yourself. And when you least expect it, that's when the right one comes along. You know, you keep trying to manifest somebody, this person or a like, they're going to keep sending people like this. So um, that could be a lesson here. All right, so separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Unconditional love, the love between you and a person is eternal. Nothing and no one can take that away from you. Past lives, you have known this person before. It's a soulmate from a past lifetime. Have faith, the angels are working behind the scenes to make a relationship happen and flourish. True love. So trying to have faith, trust the universe, trust the process. They're working behind the scenes to bring you what's meant for you if you're doing the work. You know? All right, let's get some numbers. Could be birthday, anniversary, number of days, weeks, months, years, an angel number, an age. Uh, up top, I think I forgot at the beginning, we have 9, 9, and 3, 3. And now we have 1, 3, 4, and 11. So it could be 31, 13, 41, 14, 34, 43, 11, play around with the numbers, January, March, April, and November. Zodiac signs you could be dealing with, strong placements in their chart, or something could happen during that season, like cancer season. All right, we have double Aquarius, Aries, and Pisces. That was Sagittarius, Gemini. So um, you got kind of bonus ones here. So double Aquarius, Aries, Pisces, Gemini, and what was the other one? Sagittarius. All right. Let's get some letters. Could be first, middle, last name, initials, spell a name, spell a word of significance, place it where you see it. 
Whites. We have C, G, V, U, H, I, T, B. So V, G, C, U, H, I, T, B. I'm also seeing L, P, X facing me. All right. All right, Cancer, that is what I have for you this week. Sending you lots of love and light. Take care.